Hey guys, Cream Crazy here. I know it's a Monday, I apologise. But if you didn't see my Facebook post or bulletin, you will know that my internet fucked up a lot yesterday. When, basically, I noticed when recording it, the camera stopped and then restarted again. And then it, apparently it did that during the upload process and it made my internet force quit twice. Then the signal got so shit over the last couple of hours, I had to reset the entire internet browser, so... Yeah, that's not good. But despite the fact there is a load of riots going on in Brixton and London at the moment, police and community-wise is an absolute chaos. At least in some way to comfort some people, we have a wrestling rant to delve into. The 27th of which, if you haven't been keep keeping count. As we know, SummerSlam is only a week away. Less than that now, and there's only been four matches announced. But that isn't what I'm here to talk about. As you may know, the Los Angeles Staples Center has held SummerSlam for three years running. And people have been up and I was thinking, why the hell has it been there? That's one of the things I've complained about a lot in recent times, as being one of WWE's fatal flaws. And I did some thinking, just wondering why has WWE decided to make the Staples Center and Los Angeles as SummerSlam's permanent home? Because, to me, it's not a good idea. But I'll get onto that in a second, because these are the three reasons I picked. <laughs> I thought of a few ideas, and these were the three that came through. One, to help Los Angeles pay the money lost to taxpayers due to the Michael Jackson Memorial Service in July 2009. Think about it, right? Apparently, the Los Angeles and California State Department lost $1.5 million paying for the Michael Jackson Memorial Service in July. Apparently for security costs, transportation costs, and setting everything up. And for the majority of people, the taxpayers are thinking, okay, where's the money we taken off? Obviously state funds. No, America was in a bloody recession. So, taking the money out of the taxpayer was obviously going to be a problem. And if you didn't do your thinking, the SummerSlam, the first one held in Los Angeles, in this three-year spell, was held in, guess what? Da 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 2009. So... If you think about it that way, obviously SummerSlam is a big success because it got a lot of money in. And if they've got an access convention, it would help even more. So, if it's a big cash success thereafter, SummerSlam, a big, you know, the big four pay-per-views, it's obviously going to give you the money to help pay back your disgruntled, your disgruntled residents. I mean, sure... Even with this memorial service, also the bushfires about, the searing heat which can cause drought, the earthquakes in uptown San Francisco, which is not too far from Los Angeles, which can cause you to have problems, you're bound to get some extra money from somewhere else. But SummerSlam is a good money bringer for Los Angeles, it should be good for them. I mean that, if you live, if you live in Los Angeles and think this is a good thing, comment down there. Number two. So you have audiences on the west side of America, their share of WWE programming. Because if you don't know your history, that when the WWWF, yeah, three W's, and the WWF was first around in the 1960s, 70s, and early part of the 80s before Vince McMahon Jr. got it sold to him, it was an eastern territory, holding areas as Connecticut, New York, a little bit of Chicago, as an eastern territory in the wrestling world under the NWA. And... Of course, when Vince McMahon Jr. got hold of it, he seceded from the NWA. He then took it national and then took it global. The problem is, people do still believe that WWE is still a Eastern-based company. It's still an Eastern, because it obviously is based in Greenwich, Connecticut, which is in their in their hub of the Eastern Territory, as it were. And they and people often stated that the Eastern side of the USA gets more perks. Think about the WrestleManias, for example, from 19 to 28 next year's. First 19 happened in Seattle, Washington, which is in the, mid in the middle of the eastern area. Then New York City, Madison Square Garden, WrestleMania 20. Staples Center, Los Angeles, WrestleMania 21. WrestleMania 22, Rosemont, Illinois for Chicago. WrestleMania 23, held in the Ford Field in Detroit. WrestleMania 24 in the Citrus Bowl in Florida. 25 was a difference from this, held in Texas, the middle point of the state. Because if you don't look, it goes straight through the middle. Then, of course, Arizona on the west side got a bit in the University of Phoenix Stadium for 26. And then goes to Atlanta, Georgia for WrestleMania 27. And then we found out next year that it's going back to Florida. Ah, 
Why? I honestly don't know. And people obviously would say, hold on a second. Where are the Western USA getting their love? Sure, we had Los Angeles. But that was five years ago. We want our own event. It's actually six years ago. We want our fair share. Sure, Las Vegas gets a bit. But where else in the east, in the west side of the USA do they get theirs? And they're obviously complaining, thinking we want a pay-per-view. So, why WWE thinks, hmm, we give them one of the big four, maybe these people would start shutting up for a change and start thinking, oh good, at least we've got one of these pay-per-views at last, you know? And the thing is, best thing about it, on the Pacific time, you get the, you get the programs later than everywhere else in the USA. You might as well get a big four pay-per-view to compensate, because if it's SummerSlam, it's good. You at least, at least, and now they've added the access event to make it feel like a big occasion, thinking, okay, we're going to the western side of the US for the first time in a while, let's make this big by giving them a giant convention. Because they don't get WrestleMania. They don't get WrestleMania where they are. So let's give them this big convention to make it feel like the biggest event in the world. And that shows, sure enough, they're not a territory anymore, but honestly, if you think about it, they don't go to the western side of the USA as much as you'd often think. And obviously, house shows, yeah, Smackdowns, maybe they, yes, they will do. But honestly, not many pay-per-view events, to my knowledge, have been in the western side of the US for some time. I know recently they held one in Las Vegas. But, of course, if you look at where the last two events were, Washington, D.C. and Chicago on that eastern side. So, think about it. And finally, number three, it is a celebrity hotspot. Think about it. You're in fucking Los Angeles. This is one of the most populated cities in the world. One of the biggest media hubs. Definitely the biggest media hub on the west side of the USA. Like New York is on the east side. And you know what? In perfect things here, it's going to get media attention. The access event will make it feel massive. We'll go, ooh, it's a big WWE convention. They wanted to make us all feel like it's really important. Plus... With the access event, the gaming industry are going to be on their ears going, ooh, big roster reveal. They're going to announce huge amounts of information. WWE 12 roster reveal this upcoming Saturday, as well as the unveiling of a new creation mode, ideas and gameplay videos. Everything will be displayed in that access. So the gaming community will go, ooh, this will be interesting. Film stars from the Hollywood area could go to the event and be front seat. More publicity there. They could even do what I believe they will do, right? Is the making Shaq O'Neal come back. Because, if you know, of course, he was in the Raw GM guest role, got into a, a spat with Big Show. Apparently, they're thinking about getting Shaq back for WrestleMania, which, if you didn't know, he played for Miami Heat until he retired. That's in Miami, so <laughs> WrestleMania right there makes some sense. But he played for the LA Lakers a lot before moving. And then, of course, the LA Lakers play at the Staples Center. If he lives in Los Angeles, WWE could help speed up negotiations a bit for a possible appearance at Mania. There was a rumor going around Shaq vs Big Show at SummerSlam, but Big Show is taking time off now, which has helped push Mark Henry, but it would be something which wouldn't have worked. It would have, I think, would have been taking Big Show away from things, which wouldn't have been good. But leaving it for WrestleMania could be time to negotiate. So this media hub will give WWE the feeling it needs. How it, the, what it needs to make it. Because I know the last two SummerSlams, SummerSlam 09 was okay, SummerSlam 2010 was okay as well. Hope this one's better. It's got only four matches announced. Eh, not going to do it. However, despite these magnificent reasons, and I, if you guys have got any other reasons, put them down there, because I think you guys have some. Comment section should be filling up. There are two criticisms I will have of this. Two criticisms, which I think are justified. One, is that I, I got told this online via a forum or Yahoo Answers, I can't really remember, who said he went to the two SummerSlams. The crowd were basically the same for both. And he feels going to this one will be just the same. The crowd, this, this is the problem with taking an event to the same place every time. Because it's like WrestleMania being held at the Trump Plaza two years in a row. Apparently they were okay WrestleManias, but they just people weren't really that interested. Same for this. People are not going to be interested if they've got the same event going. Because the events, the um, the house shows, or the TV tapings that come to London every April, people are excited to go, oh, thank fuck, we finally wait a year for this. Let's go. But with this, it's SummerSlam. I'm thinking, oh, it's the same thing again. Similar matches, nothing big. And the crowd go, oh, it's SummerSlam. 
It's the same. It looks the same. It's got the same stupid star logo since they moved here. It's the same thing. And ugh, people are getting annoyed with it. They say it's just, it just feels like any other WWE event. It doesn't feel bigger than it should be. It should be bigger because it's SummerSlam. But people, obviously the crowd are going to be less intense. They go for three years running and then end up seeing that it is basically just the same. But... Yeah, that's why I'm happy that the um, SmackDown and Raw tapings I get every year are really quite different from each other, so it's good for me. And the other most important criticism of this is it does not allow SummerSlam to be held in other states. Because I bet some of you other states out there who don't get WrestleMania are complaining, thinking, why aren't we getting SummerSlam? Why aren't we getting the second biggest event when Los Angeles gets to hog all the fun? Because I bet New Orleans, you're thinking right now, we have been practically guaranteed WrestleMania for two years running at the Superdome, and we haven't even been given it. Why? Because Atlanta, Georgia gets it, even though it's right bang next door to us, and then Florida gets it, because apparently WWE loves it there. And I don't know. But still, this is the obvious problem, that other places won't get it. New Orleans thinking they don't get WrestleMania, get SummerSlam instead. Other areas of the country don't get it either. They get slightly B-standard pay-per-views that probably aren't going to be very good, when this is almost going to be guaranteed something positive at least from it. And in an honest opinion, the most important SummerSlam, SummerSlam 2002, where was that held? New York? I'm not too sure. There's the Nassau Coliseum. I can't remember exactly where that is. New Jersey, I think. I'm not entirely sure. But the biggest, most important um, SummerSlam of all time was in Britain, here, in London. This was where the most, the biggest grossing event WWE has had outside, outside American shores and has, the, has hand on hand the biggest audience ever to a WWE event, right? If that doesn't show you've got to hold events in other places rather than side one, then that, that doesn't make any sense because you've got to go there to other places to get different crowds, different reactions, and they're not going to get it if you keep it in the same place. It's like keeping Madison Square Garden with WrestleMania every year. It's just not going to bloody work, is it? And that's why it is only there every 10 years, because it is that monumental. 30th anniversary of WrestleMania this upcoming in two years' time should be phenomenal. And I hope if I go to WrestleMania 30, 29 or 30, I will be really impressed with it. This is why SummerSlam should just move. Because if this SummerSlam bombs... WWE are going to say, oh, it's obviously because of the talent we put out, people weren't interested. No, you just stuck it in the same place and people were finally sick of it. You're putting CeeLo Green on as a, as, a, as a singing in it. But yeah, he may increase the music industry getting interested, that a former Grammy nominee and a person who did stuff in Niles Barkley is singing at this event. But it obviously makes it look, yeah, you're trying to make a second WrestleMania and that ain't good. You're trying to make a second WrestleMania, it ain't gonna it ain't gonna work because this is the this is the first SummerSlam, not the second WrestleMania. This is the first SummerSlam. This is a SummerSlam event different from WrestleMania. That's the other criticism. It is becoming like WrestleMania, and it is annoying as shit. They're trying to make it as big as they can, but they obviously aren't. So just give up. And that whew, is the rant, guys. Thank you so much if you've waited a day for this. I'm sorry about that again. You like what I'm doing? You haven't pressed the subscribe button already. Click the damn thing up there. Comment if you want to put on your own opinions. Like if you want to be a little more, a little less discreet. Question and answer, questions for Q&A. I want more, guys. I'm really hoping you lot give me some more questions. Channel link up there somewhere underneath the video channel. It is going to be there. I'll be back tonight on Tuesday morning for my Raw reaction, which should be awesome, depending on how good this Raw is going to be. And I will be back on when I also be back on Wednesday within the news, and I will know some point this week I'll have an update on whether my work experience, how my work experience will affect my schedule in the next week. I've been Cream Crazy. You have been people watching. This has been Wrestling Rant 27. I hope you all have a fantastic week, and I'll see you later tonight. Cheers.